Expect to win. Wilma Rudolph was the 20th child of her father's 22 children. She was born prematurely and her survival was doubtful. At the age of four, she contracted pneumonia, scarlet fever, and polio that left her with a paralyzed left leg. It was supported by a big metal brace. Thankfully, by the age of nine, she, was, she recovered from polio and she was able to walk without that metal brace that supported her left leg. At the age of 13, she developed a rhythmic walk that doctors said was a miracle. But that same year, she decided she wanted to be a runner. And she entered the race and lost. She came in last. She entered the second time and came in last. And from then on, every single race she entered, she came in last. And everyone who knew her unanimously urged her to quit. But she couldn't rent. She couldn't hear none of it. She kept on trying. Actually, one day, she won a race. And another one. And another. And from then on, she won every single race that she entered. In the 1960 Olympics, she won three gold medals. 100 meters, 200 meters, and together with her teammates, the 4 by 100 meter relay. And she was announced the fastest woman on earth. One whom the doctor said will never be able to walk again. Mark you, she was not participating in Paralympics. She was participating in the normal Olympics. Wilma saw herself as a winner. She ran to win. She expected to win. And finally, she did win. There was a perfect harmonic agreement between her expectations and her eventual reality. Let me say this, ladies and gentlemen. There's a perfect harmonic agreement between your expectations and your reality. Your outer reality is a reflection of your inner reality. Your outer reality is a reflection of your expectations. You'll never rise above your expectations. You cannot cheat your subconscious mind. A lot of people expect to fail and they end up not disappointed. They expect to quarrel with your spouse tonight. And believe me, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> they expect to divorce. They expect not to attract a life partner. They expect their business to collapse. They expect to lose their job. They expect to be sick. They expect to be in an accident. They expect to die. You know, we come in this life with no expectations, no attitudes, no opinions, no policies, no values. Our well-intended parents and teachers simply indoctrinated us with their set of beliefs and opinions and values which largely formed our worldview and our early perspectives. Frame of reference, if you like. <coughs> no wonder for most of us, we are not conscious about our thoughts. We are ignorant of the vitality of this precious faculty. But now we need to come to this realization that life does not give us what we want, life gives us what we expect. Unless what we want and what we expect are incongruent. We have conditioned our minds to expect negative things to happen to us. We have conditioned our minds for negative expectations. We respond faster to negative expectations. As a way of example, in Kenya, for instance, whenever meetings like this are announced, a lot of us don't respond. We react to the fact that we are likely to be conned by another crook. <laughs> Past reference of conmanship and blackmail and counterfeits has blinded many of us from taking notice of the true and the genuine because we respond faster to negative expectations. We are trying to protect ourselves from crooks, not to be conned one more time. To overcome this conditional neuro bias, you need to interrupt the flow of negative thoughts and negative expectations by repetitiously and consciously generating as many positive thoughts as humanly possible. Positive assertions, even if they sound illogical and seem irrational, will still generate positive results, I guarantee you. In any case, 
Negative expectations will make you a captive of terror and a victim of fear living under the bondage of failure. Positive assertions provide new instructions to our subconscious mind, which then executes our conscious orders. Your subconscious mind in its pure and natural state is non-judgmental. It doesn't decide what is good or bad for you. It doesn't even decide what is wrong, evil, or good. It doesn't even decide what is in our best interest. Our subconscious mind simply implements our conscious orders. In summary, our subconscious performs our conscious orders. So in 2018, expect to win. Do not expect to fail. Expect to be healthier than a racing horse. Expect money to flow like a never-ending stream. Expect your money to flourish like you've been hit afresh by Cupid's arrow. <laughs> Do not verbalize what you don't want as a fact. For example, if you have no money in the pocket, resist from confessing I am broke and begin to say customers are starting to flow in my business. Where I work, I'm expecting a raise. I'm expecting tethers to cross my path. If you are unwell, don't vocalize it as a fact. Begin to vocalize the healing. Begin to vocalize the solution. For that solution does exist somewhere in the universe. And speak in the affirmative present tense. The now language. Don't speak about tomorrow, an elusive future tense. Don't say, I will be having money. Say, I am doing well. Speak the I am so that it begins to happen. I will be is elusive. For in higher worlds, time does not exist. What models your reality? Your model of reality is your life signature. The true asset of who you really are. No one can coerce you how you want to live your life. Living your life is the greatest art of all, but majority of people are not conscious of this art. As to students of life, however, are deliberate about their life signature. They don't just live. They are conscious about every single moment they live. And therefore, I urge you today to think closely about your beliefs. Because your beliefs are your personal laws. In this auditorium this afternoon, we have different laws. For example, I believe opportunities are all around me. I believe Kenya is the best nation for me to live. Believe me. If I had a different belief, I would have relocated. If you don't believe you have an opportunity in this nation, I advise you to relocate as soon as possible and go where you think you have a chance. Otherwise, you'll be a miserable failure. Life is too short for you to wander faith rest. We have different sorts, sets of laws. What guides you? What's your model of reality? That's the question I'm asking. See, many of us have preconditioned our minds to just operate within comfort zones. In 2018, dare, dream, build what you dreamt before. Retrain the eye of your mind to see what you've not seen before. I even invite you to listen to my video on breaking vicious cycle. And please learn about what I taught about dream goals. I challenge you today, get your eyes off your undesired current circumstances and begin to project to your desired goal. Focus on the finishing line. You are expected to win. You are being waited for at the finishing line. You've gone through a lot, but you're expected to win. You've gone through depressions, but you're expected to win. You are destined to win. Don't prepare to fail. Don't practice to fail. In 2018, expect to win. Expect it to happen. Expect last year to be the last year that you missed that goal. Expect to graduate this year. Expect to get your own home this year. Expect to buy that new car this year. Expect to take your children for holiday this year. Expect favor to come your way this year. Expect to get married this year if that's your dream. Expect your relationship to flourish this year. You'll never rise above your expectations. Talk like it. Expect a miracle. Walk like it. Talk like it. Expect to win.